Hello, it's me again. Hi out there. I hope you guys can uh, pop back on. I am trying again. This is take two of the Lunch and Learn Facebook party with Jen Stampin' for fun. So hopefully you'll get back on. Um, I tried something a little different this time. I am wondering whether the first post that I did or the first Facebook Live I did, I had put the link for the door prize form and I'm wondering whether putting a link when you're doing a Facebook Live is a bad thing. So hopefully you can all see me now. Can, can anybody, can everybody, can somebody comment if you can see me and everything? So I think that's the only thing different that I've never done before. I've never done a Facebook Live and put a link in the description. So maybe that's what messed it all up. So now you can all see me, yay! Okay, so we live and learn. We don't put a link when we're putting the description on the Facebook Live. We have now learned something new. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna tell you to fill out the door prize form because reading, reading the link out to you probably will not be exciting. But while people are logging on, maybe I'll do that. So if you want to fill out the door prize form, you can. Um, and then what I can do is I'll just pin it, like I'll post the link after so that you can all enter the, the door prize. Okay, so um, while everyone's getting on, there is a door prize. Um, let me show you what the door prize is going to be. It is this cute Stampin' Up! little portfolio and inside there's all these cute little post-it notes. Isn't that cute? So um, that is the door prize for today's Facebook Live. And um, I think I really get, everyone seems to be able to see me now. So I think what screwed up my other Facebook Live is that I had put the link for the door prize form in the description. So I won't do that. I'll just put the link for the door prize form in another post after this Facebook Live. But this is the little prize and there's no rush because as long as you fill out the door prize form, um, within 24 hours of our little Facebook Live party, then you'll still be entered for a cute little prize. Okay, so that is the first thing. I'm very excited. I think people people are watching me now. Uh, I mean, not that I'm excited you're watching me, but that you'll be able to see the stamping because it it's not too good if you don't have video. Okay, also, because I love to share prizes, we've got that one little prize for the door prize form, but then I also have another prize and um, it is a celebration stamp set called Amazing You. So this is our second prize for today. And all you have to do to be entered in for this prize is comment during this Lunch and Learn um, video. If you comment and specifically comment about what your favorite celebration item is, then you'll be entered to win. Okay, that's all you have to do. You just have to comment about your favorite celebration item and you'll be entered to win. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then um, you need to head to my website. And my website is uh, www.genevieve.stampinup.net. And if you head to my website and you click the shop now, one of the categories under shop now is catalogs. So you can actually view the celebration catalogs under that link. And then you can see all the different ones and you can look and you can see which is your favorite. And all you have to do is comment what your favorite is and you'll be entered for this great stamp set. Okay, so I think those are kind of the first things I wanted to tell you as everyone's getting ready and logging on and so excited to see so many people logging on. Maureen is here from Newfoundland and um, some of my other friends from Team Stick and everything. I love it. I love sharing stamping, so it is so exciting to share with you. So don't be afraid to um, comment and um, do whatever you need to do to, to interact. That's why I'm doing the Facebook Live, so we can interact together instead of just a regular um, different posts and um, um, YouTube videos. Yay, Shelly's here from Alberta. Hi, Shelly. Um, all right, so let's keep going. So as I keep going, feel free to keep commenting what your favorite celebration set is, and uh, you'll be entered for uh, the prizes. 
So let's start with some stamping announcements. There's lots of announcements going on. And uh, yes, Leanne, this is take two. You are absolutely in the right place, my dear friend from Scotland. Um, so yes, uh, hopefully people can see me now. So I wanted to start with some stamping announcements before I dive into the actual stamping. So what we'll start with is celebration. We are halfway through this amazing promotion. So in case you didn't know what celebration is, it only happens once a year. That's it, just once a year between January to March. And so now we're in the middle of February. Uh, we've only got half of celebration left. And what are the perks that come with celebration? Why is it such an exciting time of year? Like if you've been around with Stampin' Up! as long as I have, I've been with Stampin' Up! for um, over 10 years as a demonstrator. And before that, I was a customer for several years. So I know the excitement of celebration. After all these years, the excitement has not dulled because the thrill is that exclusive stamps, exclusive items are made available during this time of year. And you can only get these items um, by placing a minimum $60 order. So for every $60 order, you can choose a celebration gift. And the thing that makes it so like urgent <laughs> is because these gifts don't stick around. They pretty much leave at March 31st and we don't see them again. I know, it's very sad. So, so even years ago, before I became a demonstrator, I would always study the celebration catalog and figure out what my favorites were to make sure to kind of pace my ordering so that I could get everything before celebration ended. So you might be in that position too. So make sure you look at the catalogs and make sure you get everything you want. Um, the other thing to know that's special this year is instead of just getting one gift with every $60, there's actually higher priced, more exciting gifts at the 120 level. So if you hit $120 in orders, you can either choose two celebration gifts of the $60 value ones, or you can choose um, one of the bigger gifts that you can get with a $120 order. So I love that flexibility. Um, I love that you can enjoy it from January till the end of March and then the reason why I decide to do the Facebook live now is because um, stamping up I guess they know their business well they thought we might be getting bored with the initial release they came up with three other new items to show us and to get us excited that are only available till the end of March so I wanted to make sure that you guys my stamping for fun um, peeps on my Facebook group could be one of the first to see some of the new items and to see them in action. So that's why we're doing this today. Um, just checking my notes here so I don't forget anything. Um, da -da -da. Okay, what else about celebration besides just the shopping part? The other thing that's exciting about celebration is that the starter kit is on sale. So the starter kit is always an amazing deal. It's $135, but you choose $165 worth of product, no tax, uh, sorry, no tax in Ontario and no shipping for anybody. And, uh, but the best part, that's actually the usual starter kit offer, but the best part during celebration is you get two free stamp sets of any value from the catalog added into your starter kit. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm realizing I have actually lots of announcements to tell you, but you might be getting itchy to see some stamping products. So maybe I'll do another little infomercial of announcements later. So let me show you some of these new items. Let's start with this one. Da -da -da -da. Okay, I'll hold it up here. Um, it is the Springtime Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. So I'm going to take it out so that you can kind of see it and I'll hold it up so that you can see it. But it is gorgeous. It's like decadent, right? Let me see if I can hold it up for you. Okay. So what you have to know is each sheet has foil in it. Okay. So some of the sheets have like a copper foil or like, I think they call it kind of a rose gold kind of foil. But look at these designs. Aren't they gorgeous? What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. So that I know you're still out there and that I haven't gone frozen in time. Okay, and then check out, okay, so I showed you the dots, I showed you the flowers. 
Okay, but there's some that are silver. Okay, so some are sort of rose gold, some are silver. And then, um, what else have we got here? Yep, some are a combo. But look at this one has stripes. Okay, and I know you're not here. You can't feel this paper, but it is heavy weight. Like, it's heavy weight. Yeah, this is my favorite, I think. I think this one's my absolute favorite. It's hard to see on the video. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, there it is. But anyway, it's super heavy weight, so it would be perfect for making boxes or anything like that. I think they would be really great for that. Okay, so what else is there that's new? They actually came out with a little brochure. Did I bring the brochure here? Here's one of the brochures. So this is the kind of the newest product brochure. So I actually did not pre-order this one. It's called Eclectic Expressions. It looks like it's got fun background kind of images there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I showed you the paper. And then, so those are both available with a minimum $60 order. But if your order reaches 120, um, then you can get this Blossoming Basket Bundle. And what is the Blossoming Basket Bundle? It is a beautiful stamp set, okay? And then also a impressions embossing folder. Let me open it up for you so that you can see the picture a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't look that exciting as a picture, but I'm gonna show you a few, like I'm gonna show you something I've made with it so that you can see what it looks like. But here's the folder here. Okay, so those are the newest things that I wanted to make sure that you have seen um, so that you're not in the dark when you're shopping. And I did want to comment that don't forget if you do any shopping with me today, um, you can shop directly on my online store. I'll post the link later to my online store. But make sure to use the host code, um, which I'll post later, uh, because you will get a free class kit in the mail when your order is at least $40. Although in my opinion, don't stop at 40, go to 60 so you can get this free paper or free stamp set or whatever. Okay, so let's dive in and do uh, a little stamping. Okay, so now here's the, here's the thing. I gotta move the camera onto this lovely mount here and I'm hoping that nothing horrible will happen. Okay, I love technology. You can tell we're friends. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Mm. Oh, I think I have to turn around, turn this camera around. Oh, we're looking good so far, right? I hope you can still hear me because I have no idea where the, where the microphone is on my phone. And as I'm putting it in the mount, I could be squeezing something or covering something. Can you guys still hear me? Hopefully you guys can still hear me. I've just jotted down here the host code. So if you do want to order on my online store, you can just use this host code. As long as your order is over 40, you'll receive a free class kit. Let me show you what that class kit will be. The class kit will be um, all the card pieces to make these cute cards and they are all based around the Good Day stamp set. Here, I'll hold it up a little closer so you can kind of see. Okay, so you'll get all the pieces to make this and you can totally make it at home at your leisure. You just pretty much need um, maybe only one or two colors of inks um, and then the, the a Good Day stamp set. Okay, so that can be found in the Occasions catalog. This is what the stamp set looks like. So it's really a class based around this stamp set, but I'm not even offering this class um, in my business. I'm just offering it exclusive to those of you who shopped online. The other group of people that enjoyed these class, this class were my team stick girls. All my team members actually got to make them and received the tutorial for them um, at our last team meeting. So that's just one of the perks of being on my team. Okay, so make sure to take advantage of the shopping order, take advantage of celebration, and uh, you can get this class kit as well. Okay, what else can I show you? Let's do a little stamping, shall we? 
I am going to take this uh, beautiful springtime foil designer series paper and I'm also going to use our note cards and envelopes. So this is the Whisper White note cards and envelopes. My plan is to um, post the supply list for these uh, things that I'm showing you on the group so that you can see the supply list so that you know what I used. Um, but this this paper already, when you put it on the front of a card, it just dresses it up instantly. You don't need much else at all. Um, but what I'm going to do, just to make it fun for you guys, I thought we would color it instead of just using it as it is. And uh, I'd like to let you know that whenever I get new product, I like to stamp with it right away. And I got this card idea from... Um, I believe I saw another demonstrator make it. I believe her name's Monica Gale. I can't re remember if I saw it on the demonstrator website or if I saw it um, on Pinterest. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use this sponge brayer. And I'm realizing I, I, oh yeah, I think I put the sponge brayer on the supply list. And it just rolls like this. Now here's a little tip. It's so tempting to just roll back and forth like this but you really need to kind of give it the whole rotation when you're rolling. So I'm gonna start with some powder pink ink and I will, whoops, I'll just roll it on the ink pad here, catch some of that ink, and then we're just gonna color this beautiful paper, okay? We'll just color it and just give it a light pink background. Okay, I'm doing a little more at the top because I will use other colors lower down. But I'm kind of covering it with that powder pink ink with the sponge brayer, which is very easy to roll. But remember, I'm not just going back and forth like this. I'm doing full strokes. Okay, so we're done with the powder pink. Let's move on to the flirty flamingo. And then this is a, pretty much just an ombre effect. And I find with the sponge brayer, as long as I'm kind of staying with the same colors, I just kind of roll it off on the paper and then just move to my next color. Okay. And so I'm going to leave it powder pink kind of at the top and then sort of in the middle, I'll start to put some of that flirty flamingo, darken it up a little bit here. Okay. I'm sorry, it's all shaky. I'll hold it up so that you can see. Okay, so there's the flirty flamingo. And again, we're just gonna roll off the extra here. And then we'll move on to the brighter pink, the melon mambo. How are you guys doing out there? Can you see everything? So let me grab lots of this melon mambo because I want it to be more intense at the bottom. So this is like an ombre effect here. Okay, see that? Okay, so there you go. Let me hold it up so that you can see how it kind of goes from lighter to darker to darkest. Okay, we could actually put a little more flirty flamingo in the middle, I think, but that's still pretty good. So that's a way that you can take that foil paper. It looks gorgeous as it is, but it is fantastic for coloring. It's just, it just really makes it pop. So we've got this background. It really doesn't need much else. I will uh, stick it right on to our note card. And I love that the Whisper White note cards are already pre-cut and pre-scored, so it just makes things a little faster. And I'll just pop it on top, just like that. Here we go. Okay, so can you see the kind of the ombre effect we've got going there? And then I'm gonna use uh, the vellum cardstock and use my two and a quarter inch circle punch to punch out the vellum. Okay, so we can pop that on right there. Maybe I'll use a dimensional just to give it a little bit of height. So our stamping dimensionals are the best. They are absolutely the best because they are exactly the right size. They're exactly the right thickness, not too high, not too short and you get so many in a package. It's a good value. Okay, so I'm just putting a little vellum circle there. And what I did with this beautiful paper, I'm gonna hold it here for you guys to see. See how I almost feel like every flower might be different. It's so unique. But what I did is I cut out. So I pre-cut it because you don't wanna see me fussy cutting. 
but I pre-cut out one of the flowers from that foil pack of paper and we're just going to lay it on the front of the card. I will put some copper thread behind just to add a little um, bling and uh, I think, I mean not that the paper, the paper is actually quite blingy enough, but I thought it would be fun to put some of our copper thread and how I, it's very thin, can you see it there? What I'm going to do, I usually wrap it around my finger, just like this. I kind of wrap it around my fingers, however much or little as you need. Get my scissors here, snip that, and then we have just a little bit of, just a little bit of excitement. I don't know if you can see there. I'm sorry, the lighting in my basement is so, it casts so many shadows. Okay, and then I'll put another dimensional on the back just to pop this up a bit. And you could make a ton of these cards really quickly if you did sort of an assembly line. There we go. What do you guys think? There you go. So this is how you can use the springtime foil um, designer series paper. You can color it, you can fussy cut it out, and you can just put it on the front of your card to add some real interest. That foil, that shiny foil, just makes me drool. It's awesome. Okay, so that's how easy that card is. I'll show you another one. It's exactly the same, but just because every flower is kind of different. See that? So it's, it's the same card, but really every flower on that piece of paper is a little different. So you just cut it out, put it on the front, and it's it's so easy you're good to go um, and then of course you've got the the matching envelope so even if you wanted to you could kind of um, ombre the envelope if you wanted to that would be fun eh okay Ta -da! okay next project so that's um, all I'm gonna stamp for you today because it's lunchtime I don't know if any of you are at work and I didn't want to take you from work too long but I did want to show you other projects that have been made using the new celebration items so this one I know for sure I copied it off Pinterest and I'm so sorry I don't remember the name of the person I cased it from um, I was trying to remember so that I could tell you guys so I'm so sorry I'll try and put it in the comments um, but I loved the way that the blends were used to kind of create the shading on the basket I'll post it the picture as well but can you see the basket weave textured embossing folder there? So this is fantastic. Another great way to use, and I have big plans with this basket weave thing um, because I have seen, like I could make little bags for Easter or something with this. There's lots of ideas coming in my head. Okay, so there's that one. And I would strongly recommend with this uh, stamp set that you get the blends. Uh, the new blends markers are fantastic and they are perfect for coloring things in like this and to give you that shading without the streaky lines that sometimes you get with other water coloring or with other um, coloring effects. So the blends markers are a definite must have. You can certainly purchase them and then your ordering of the markers will uh, get you over that 120 mark so that you can get the stamp set and the bundle together. Perfect. So uh, there's another project I wanted to show you using that basket weave. And this I know who I cased it from. It was my friend Erica Serwin. And she used the basket weave to make a pie. So it's basically, it could be, I don't know whether you think these are apples or cherries. Um, but it's like an apple pie. So isn't that a fun way to use that basket weave? Um, and it's just on the stitch circle framelits and the layering circle um, framelit there with the scallop edge. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but doesn't that look just like a pie? Isn't that hilarious? I just thought that was such a creative way for her to use that uh, basket weave embossing folder because I originally knew I was going to use it something like this as a background, but it never occurred to me to use it kind of as a focal point for a card. So if you like this card and if you live local to me, you should definitely come to my Sweet and Simple class because this is one of the cards we're going to be making. So Sweet and Simple class is always the last Wednesday of the month um, and I'd love to have you enjoy it. You can always go to my events page on my website to see what's coming up. 
Okay, so I think that is the projects I wanted to show you today. Is there anything else? Now, don't forget, those of you who are joining in a little later, um, make sure that you, oh, Wanda's asking. I have to answer the questions as I see them come up because otherwise they kind of disappear off my screen and I'll forget. So Wanda's asking what size circle is used. So this, these are actually not punches. They are from the, um, um, the dies. So the top part of the pie is the um, stitched shapes framelits. So I'm not sure what size circle it is, but I'll show you which one I used. It's this one. So here, obviously one is missing. I don't know where it is, but it will turn up. It always turns up. So I guess it's the second largest one is the one I used to make the top of the pie. And then I just found the coordinating scallop edge in the layering circles. So hopefully that answers your question. Shelly's asking how to get a copy of the new brochure. Um, Shelly, I know you're, you're part of Team Stick, so that you can just order them as a supply order and you get a pack of 10 so that you can hand them out to friends. You can also view it online. Um, but if you want me to send you one, I'm happy to mail you one as well. Just let me know. Okay, so that is great. I have more um, announcements to make, but before I switch the camera over, I wanted to show you, this is February's Paper Pumpkin, so it means you can't get it, but I wonder if it's in here. There was a little brochure, maybe it's not in here. When I opened it up, Paper Pumpkin, if you're not familiar, is an awesome crafting happiness that's delivered to your door. Okay, it's not in here. But when I opened this box, um, there was a little flyer inside that said, happy fifth birthday or something. It was like a fifth anniversary um, flyer. And so that reminds me to tell you that um, Paper Pumpkin is celebrating their fifth anniversary. And in March, it'll be their fifth anniversary. And what is making it super special to celebrate, I guess, their birthday, is that it will be a specially... Um, just sort of a special box. Uh, it could even be considered a collector's item box because it's gonna be different from the normal orange boxes that we get. The other fun thing about the March kit is that it includes a free gift. So that's super fun. Um, that means that it's a gift that's not necessary to be used on the project, like you get the project and everything. And on top of that, you'll get this little gift and Stampin' Up! has said that it's worth about $8 Canadian. So if you have ever considered trying Paper Pumpkin or you've tried it before but haven't, you know, um, haven't tried it lately, I would definitely go for um, subscribing to Paper Pumpkin. And I would really suggest doing the prepaid subscription. So those of you who have my catalog, um, you can see on page nine, I believe it's page nine here, there are different ways to enjoy Paper Pumpkin. So there's the month to month subscription that's $26.95. And that means there's no obligation, no fuss, no muss, you just subscribe. Let me know, I'll help you do it because sometimes the website can be a little funny. Um, just comment below or send me a message and I'll get you subscribed so that 20, um, for $26.95 a month, you get your happy box. Now, Maureen's asking if you can just get the March kit. You absolutely can. You can do this month to month thing and you can cancel after you get your March kit. There's no obligation to stick around for 12 months or whatever. So that's one way to do it. But the other way that I'd recommend because it's celebration is that you can get a prepaid subscription. So that basically means you're paying upfront for the kit. So you could just do one month for $27, but what I would really recommend is to get at least a three month prepaid subscription. The reason why is because it's $79, that means you're over the magic $60, so not only will you get your three month prepaid paper pumpkin, you will get a free celebration goodie as well. So um, I, I can almost, I feel it in my heart that the March kit is gonna be wonderful because they're celebrating their fifth anniversary, um, it's, it's going to be good and you're, I just don't want anyone to miss out. So make sure to let me know if you want to take advantage of that. And of course, um, you would also qualify for my free class kit um, with your order. 
Okay, so let me see whether I can uh, flip this back over and see. Okay, bye Joy. I know you have to go back to work. That's why I didn't want to keep this to learn too long. Okay, so we are just about to finish up. I don't think I forgot anything. I think those were all the things I wanted to show you. Um, I told you about the paper pumpkin. Oh yes, other stamping announcements to tell you. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that keep in mind on the back of the catalogs here, it tells you the, the lifespan of the catalogs. So on the back of our catalog, it says that the end of the catalog period for our annual catalog, as well as our um, spring catalog, this one as well, okay? Both of these will be ending May 31st, May 31st, May 31st. So that means a new annual catalog, a new big fat one will be coming out June 1st. But what I want you to know is that um, at the end of any catalog period, their supplies become limited, right? It just makes common sense. Like if, if May 1st, they run out of whatever punches that they're not going to carry over they're not going to order more punches um, all the way from china and everything so if there's things that you want this also goes for the celebration brochure in our minds we kind of think oh celebration goes to march 31st i have until march 31st to get everything i want but certain items if they sell out they sell out they're not going to replace them um, this is especially true for things that are not stamp sets. Stamp sets, we're a little, we've got a little more room because Stamping Up manufactures it themselves, so they have a little bit of control. But things like punches, um, big shot dies, stuff like that, uh, ink, re inkers, okay, re inkers, very important to get all your re inkers. Uh, and I just feel an urge to tell you guys, my special Stampin' for Fun peeps, to make sure that you get all the reinkers in the colors you want sooner rather than later, because when they sell out, they are gone. Um, so I wanted to take this Facebook Live time to, to tell you that, and so that you can put them on your wish list and uh, make sure to pick them up now while you can get celebration benefits, instead of waiting till later, when first of all, you won't get celebration benefits, and they might sell out and then you'll be disappointed and unfortunately i have no magic wand to make it happen for you if they're gone so that's it um make sure if you joined late and you didn't hear my introduction about how to win the prizes um i do have two prizes to raffle off one is a very cute uh post-it note um post-it note portfolio and the other one is the Amazing You Celebration Stamp Set. So the two ways to participate in the raffles is one, to fill out the door prize form, which I will post in the group. Um, in the group. I guess I'll post it in two places. I'll post it in this Facebook Live thread if it allows me, and I'll post it in the regular um, Stampin' for Fun group. So make sure to go and fill out that door prize form. You've got 24 hours to do that. And then uh, the other way is to comment in this thread, in this uh, Facebook Live thread, uh, what your favorite celebration stamp set is. Okay, so I can't wait to give away these prizes. Thank you for joining me during this uh, Facebook Live. And, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what I should tell you. Anyway, just uh, since it's so interactive, this little text came down on my phone just now and said something about my my mobility bill and it was a really high number so now I'm worried that I'm not I'm doing it on data instead of Wi-Fi <laughs> uh, maybe I didn't check so anyway but it's too late now we've done it and uh, it was great interacting with you and have a nice rest of the day thanks bye for now